Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. There's a recipe for roast potatoes. You know these, obviously these are going to be the crunchiest and fluffiest ones you've ever made. And it's Christmas around the corner so I thought this might be very useful for you. Okay, roast potatoes. Those are roosters. Uh, I like these for chipping and roasting. I think they're really good. They're pretty good for mashing as well. It's basically two types of potatoes. You've got floury ones and waxy ones. This would be floury. Also, a Maris Piper, a King Edward. There are many types that are suitable for roasting. These would be rubbish for boiling. They'd fall apart. That's when you want a waxy one. But anyway, you see me, I've peeled there and cut into a reasonable size so you obviously you've got to make sure you stick to the size whichever one you go for okay cover with cold water add the salt and that was baking soda or bicarb soda there's some scientific reason for this but what it does it helps to create an extra fluffy outer edge so you see me just checking here that's had about five minutes or between five and ten minutes simmering gently and take them off. You do not want to cook these, you're just parboiling. If you go too far, you'll end up with mashed potatoes, which would be nice, but that's not what we're doing here, is it? We're making roasties. So give them a drain, let them steam off for a, a minute or so, and now this is where that baking soda really makes a difference. So give them a little bit of a chuff about in there. Obviously, if you've overcooked them, they're going to fall apart at this stage, but you see that there? It's almost like sort of all those little blistery bits on the outside, those are, it's almost like mashed potato on the outside. It's, that's what's going to get so, so crispy. Try not to make as big a mess as I did there with the duck fat. Don't have duck fat, it's fine. Lard, it's great. Butter, oil, whatever you want really. Just be wary. If you just use butter, you'll need to use some oil with it anyway because it will burn. And I decided to really space these out on these couple of baking trays because I really want them to get the heat all the way around them. And that is a little bit of light oil. You could use a vegetable oil, that's a light rapeseed oil. That's just for me to make sure it doesn't burn. And there we go. Over halfway, but I waited until then to turn them over because I wanted them to look like that. Oh my God, and why wouldn't you want them to look like that? Look how wonderful and crispy those are on that side. So, turn them over back in. You cook them until they're ready. The timings I've put there is how long these took in my oven. It may vary. And uh, they look rather nice, don't they? You put those on the table at Christmas and people are going to be extremely happy. There's the fork test for Chef John, food wishes. Yep, the fork don't lie. And uh, what do you think it looks like in the middle? Nice and fluffy, let's hope. Of course. So it's almost like mashed potato in the middle and crispy chippy on the outside. That is, for me, the perfect roast potato. I'm going to be doing a series of Christmas suitable dishes. And that's it. This one's over. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video coming really soon. Bye.